All right, we welcome you back live to the NFL today. Now, for a lot of players, opening weekend is a relief because it means that the grueling workouts are behind them. Same goes for the fittest man in television, Shannon Sharp. Appreciate that, JB. I joined a group of players in California and found the perfect way to get ready for the heat of battle. I don't like yeah. to do the warm-ups because if you don't start doing them, you won't ever have to start doing warm-ups. Yeah. <laughs> Give me that 16-pound sledgehammer. Like I carry it down there. That's yeah. part of my warm-up. Uh. Okay. Um, it's hot. Going to work. Going to work. With this group, we'll set up three, four stations, and we'll have them rotate through, giving them like something that's equivalent to huddle time. Every time I come up here, it's something different. I don't know what I was thinking when I signed on for this. Good job, guys. How far they got to go? Oh, no, no, no. Let's go, guys. <sighs> Come on, bro. Training, you got to dig down. He has to be able to know in the fourth quarter, it's third and five. Yeah, I'm tired, but you know what? My body's already been through a pull to tire up the heel. His body's nose has already been in that kind of duress. It's gonna respond. Hey, right, what do I do to myself? You start in the middle, then you go right, center, left. Yeah. How would you say this equate to what you do on the football field? The about this work out here is just it's not functional work. Right. Let's go, let's go. Pull, 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 pull. This is all the core work, the hill work, the driving. I mean, this is this translates very well to what we do on the field. Yeah, get the work in now. So it's supposed to be easier later. Better be. He's taking the wheelbarrow up. Uh -huh. You're gonna go up behind him, take two bags down. That's it. He's going a bit faster than I can really go. That's it, Crow. Keep that speed to the top. I know I'm in better shape than Boomer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> JB, Coach Cowell. That's my competition. <laughs> So do you feel that when you ask your body to do something in the fourth quarter, that you're going to be able to respond because you've been here, you've had to pull the tire for here, you've had to flip the tire for here? Definitely, always. Um, this is challenging yourself. It's the mental capacity or the mental makeup of, you know, the individual out here. You know, are you going to quit? Are you going to let the course beat you? If you want to be the best, you got to go out there and train like the best day in and day out. I won't ever see another tire ever again. That was just that field workout. Now we go to the gym. Hold on, you out here, you might as well get it in. What happened? I got a fight to catch, too. I got a fight to catch, three. You move that bag, you know you move that. No, they ain't got no more flights. Uh, last flight is 2 o'clock here, that last. I know they're trying, he's trying to get me. JB, people ask me all the time, what does flipping a tire, pulling a tire up a hill, banging a tire with a sledgehammer has to do with football? I think if you're a professional athlete, you have to go to a cold, dark place that most people cannot or are not willing to go to. And you have to ask yourself, who, what, when, why am I doing this? When is it going to be over? How long does it take? Because when you get in the heat of battle, you need to know that I've been here before and I don't have to question myself not one that's single what, that's time. That's what you were saying. <laughs> that's what you were saying when you were there. You know, Shannon, how come you weren't there for part two right here, man? All I know is yeah. I see four guys working out, one guy sitting down asking a lot of questions. Oh, oh serious workout there. Look at him. I told you I'm, I'm going back hey, where's Shannon? Shannon's on a flight to Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, that's what Shannon is. But Shannon, you can handle that. I mean, you work out in Atlanta yes. in a course called Extreme Conditioning. No question about it, JB. I'm going back out next year. I'm going to go through the full gamut of it, and I'm going to see how I stack up. What's, what's that have to do with playing football? Mental. <laughs> <laughs>